The nation's largest bank is poised to get even bigger by acquiring Canada's seventh largest bank. Further concentration in this oligopoly where the big six control 95% of bank assets. But HSBC's share of Canada's banking market is tiny, just 2%. It's a whale and, and a minnow. You know, it's David and it's Goliath. Yes, the industry will become slightly more concentrated. CEO Dave Mackay says this acquisition positions RBC as the bank of choice for commercial clients with international needs, newcomers to Canada, and affluent clients who need global banking and wealth management. The deal will be scrutinized by the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions, known as OSFI. But the Ministry of Finance gets the final say. It will examine the impact on the rights and interests of consumers and business customers, and it has the authority to impose terms and conditions. In terms of for people that were looking for an alternative to the big six banks, it does re reduce the uh, the opportunities and options out there. Several analysts tell Global News the deal is likely to go ahead. I think it's going to be seen as a good thing in Ottawa by the decision makers, by the Minister of Finance, that these foreign held assets of a bank in Canada are going to become patriated, if you will, um, uh, I almost renationalized, if I can put it that way, uh, because they'll be under Canadian ownership. HSBC is headquartered in London but was founded in Hong Kong. It has struggled to navigate political pressure from the West and Beijing following its crackdown in Hong Kong. It's also under pressure from key Chinese investors to focus on Asia. Last year it announced plans to pull out of the U.S. and France. The Minister of Finance is going to have to consider a lot of things, including the impact on banking and confidence in the Canadian banking system and its stability, as well as the shifting geopolitical landscape. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.